Hi, I'm Phyllis Hitz. And I'm Lamont Mackey. And we're the Cooking Ladies. And today we are on South Padre Island. We are at the South Padre Island KOA in Texas. We are having a Gulf breeze come in off our shoulders as we do this recipe. It's wonderful. It feels really good. Which is very appropriate because the Gulf sometimes thinks it or behaves like the Mediterranean. So we're doing a Mediterranean pasta salad. We are. Okay, let's get at it. We start with okay. cooked penne noodles. Yes. Okay? And then we're making a dressing. Okay. And okay. Th this recipe is on our website, so don't worry about quantities while we do it. Just go to thecookingladies.com and the recipe will be there. With a photo. Okay. All here right. I go. Olive oil. Olive oil. Put olive oil in it. Red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Oh, and a little lemon juice. Then this is fresh lemon juice. Now we're getting into some thicker things. We've got Dijon mustard. And Dijon style mustard. It really gives us this dressing a lot of flavor in this pasta salad. It just sort of kicks yeah. it up a little. Now, did you know some people say pasta and some people say pasta? Which, whatever you say, it's, go yeah. it's going to be wonderful, right? It's going to taste the same. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> and some garlic. Okay, some freshly chopped garlic. As Phyllis said, all the quantities are on our website. Mayonnaise. Yeah. Some mayo in there. That's what makes it creamy. Okay. All right. And pepper. Pepper. A little bit of salt. Salt. More Mediterranean in the feta cheese. Yeah, this, this feta cheese. I'm going to stir this up a little okay, first. And then just to get it all mixed up, and I actually have a whisk here, I'll, I'll use it. And get it, because that'll... So that'll be nice and creamy. That, that's going to come yeah. out very nicely. There. See that? Okay. Now, let's put the feta cheese in. So it's, the feta cheese is all crumbled. So we'll put that in, and that's, that's what gives the dressing more flavor, even than it already had. Okay, I'll stir that up. And then I'm going to pour it on top of these penne noodles, these cooked penne noodles. You don't want to cook them until they're too soft. You want to have them a little bit... Uh, El done. El done, because they, otherwise they'll break up on you. Yes, if they get too soft, it's, it's not as nice. You want them a little okay. bit firm. So, how's that? Now, I okay. smell garlic, I smell lemon, here. I smell feta cheese. Okay, now we've got some more exciting things coming in. Okay, and I'm going to stir ready. this up here. Oh, it smells good, huh? It does. It smell really that does. garlic. Okay, <laughs> let's put the next things in. What's that? How about some chopped onion? Green chopped onion. Green onion. Okay, put that Nothing in Nothing better than the flavor of green okay. onion. Nice and fresh. All and right. Next, cherry tomatoes. Grape tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes are a little bigger. Uh, you, if you can get the grape tomatoes, just leave them whole because they're wonderful and sweet. If you get cherry tomatoes, sometimes they're a little bit uh, too big. You might have to cut them in half. But Get that all stirred are, in. These are grape tomatoes. Okay, next. Black olives, sliced black olives. Sliced black olives. Put those in there. It's a very refreshing salad, just loaded with flavor. Look at how wonderful that Whoa. looks. Whoa, there's plenty for me. Is that enough? Oh, oh I'll I think, do. I think you can eat more. How's that? <laughs> okay. All now, right. Now we put, now this is freshly fresh, chopped parsley. Fresh parsley, freshly chopped. And you just sprinkle it over the top like that. Oh, that looks nice. Very uh, nice. And it, there you go. We don't have forks. <gasps> well, we'll just have to. We're going to have to admire it. We will. Enjoy. Enjoy.